In this demo, we show how you can set up a service level objective SLO within Tanzu Service Mesh to track the behavior of a cloud native application called Acme Fitness. Okay, so let's set up a new SLO called Front End to represent the front end services of Acme Fitness cloud native application. We set up a service level indicator for P90 at 120 milliseconds, P99 at 300 milliseconds, and an allowable error rate of 1%. Of course, we want the overall SLO to be satisfied 99% of the time. Now let's add the SLO to all of the front end services via service group construct. Quick review of the SLO we have created. The SLIs are error rate less than 1%, P90 less than 120 milliseconds, and P99 less than 300 milliseconds. And the SLO should be fulfilled at 99% of the time. Now let's take a quick look at the Acme Fitness application. Navigating through it, all functionality seems to be working fine. Let's look at the SLO status of the Acme application front end services within Tanzu Service Mesh. You can see the SLO chart is green. Error budget burn down is green and has not exceeded the threshold. The P90 and P99 latencies have also not exceeded the thresholds. And finally, the error rate has not exceeded the threshold either. Now let's generate some traffic against the application to see if we can impact its performance and the associated SLO. Now let's look at the SLO charts for Acme Fitness application within Tanzu Service Mesh. We immediately see the negative impact on the P99, P90 latencies and how we are quickly depleting our error budget for the front end service of the application. And of course, this leads to the SLO going from green to yellow in warning state then to red in error state, showing that the SLO is in violation of the set thresholds. Now we proceed to investigate, and we see that the application is not able to fully load. It is clear that the additional load we generated against the application has had a negative impact on it. We did some root cause analysis and found that the application has no autoscaling configured to respond to varying traffic demands. To fix this, Let's next configure service autoscaling within Tanzu Service Mesh. We can add autoscaling feature without any code change in Tanzu Service Mesh for any service. This will show how we can handle more traffic without compromising performance. With a simple YAML file, we can specify the minimum number of microservice instances as 1 and maximum as 10. We also provide a configurable scaling grace period CPU thresholds for when to scale up and down. Let's apply the autoscaling CRD with a quick kubectl command. Now within Tanzu Service Mesh, we can inspect the front end services performance before and after autoscaling feature was turned on. We see that before autoscaling, traffic is building up while the service instance count stays constant. This, of course, has a negative impact on the P90 and the P99 latencies. Now, once the autoscaler was turned on, the service instance count started to increase as traffic was building up, but yet latencies are back down to normal levels. Now, let's inspect how the autoscaler configuration has improved our SLO. We immediately see the SLO has gone from red to green showing it is at healthy levels again. In this demo, we showed how you can configure an SLO in Tanzu Service Mesh to track service behavior, set up autoscaling to improve its performance, inspect service performance using various charts, use SLO charts to track your SLO error budgets, track P90 and P99 latencies. Thanks for watching.